There are tons of firearm myths out there. My friend told me you can pull the pole station and ink will get on your hand. Hello everybody, this is going to be SER250 Chats, Episode 3. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about the top five fire alarm myths. Yep. So there's been a lot of fire alarm myths out there. Um, we're only going to do top five, like Grant said. So, yeah. And as usual, miss the, lap ep bleh, miss the last episode, and it's in the description, so you can check it out. And we both have a playlist in our channel, so if you want to go watch them all, just go look for the playlist. It's called SCR250 Chats. There's not going to be seasons, but anyway. So, we have we just made a list, so we're going to uh, talk about them. And right, if so you want us to talk about something, like usual, put it in the comments. So. Alright, so uh, Exit Sign 250 is going to take it away from NER, for, for number five. For NER, haha. So. <laughs> anyway, so number five is Fire, or er, basically when the fire alarm goes off, the sprinklers go off. That is not true at all. I mean, all a sprinkler is, is a little thing that holds back water until a fire breaks the little, this little thing, I can't remember what it's called, but there's this little glass tube, like this big, that's in a sprinkler, and I'll just get one of my sprinklers out, and it holds back, so this thing's in it, and it would hold it back, and then when the fire, when there's a fire, it'll break, and the, it would sh shoot water. So, uh, a fire alarm, and this is not, there's no wires shooting out, as you can see. So, there's no way that the fire alarm will uh, make it turn on by itself. Now, there is something called agent release systems, and that's a whole nother story. So, anyway, so that is a myth that doesn't happen. I mean, like I was saying, agent release systems, that's how they work, but that's, a, once again, another story. All so, right, and then... Uh, myth number four. Why don't you go ahead and explain this one too, and I'll get the other ones. All right. So number four is all sprinklers go off at once. Nope, that's not true. Like I was saying for myth number five, these um, are all independent sprinklers. So when one breaks, it would do that and shoot out water, and all the other ones don't do that. It can't automatically make them break too. But once again, agent release systems a whole other thing. But we'll not talk about that today. So, sprinklers are all independent. They don't run together. So, yeah. So that is a myth, and that can't happen. So, so uh, number three. I think this is one of the most common ones. A so lot of people think this, and it's if wrong. You pull this fire alarm right here. People think when you, you can just push the handle back up, and it'll stop the alarm. Well, you can do that, and if you nudged it hard enough, to just break the whole pole station, and uh, you get in trouble or something. But yeah, so. yeah. And I just explained it with my two seven SPO. That can't happen. But the reason, if you saw me kind of do, it is because this thing's open. And update about this: I am replacing it. It's completely stripped, so that's why it's opened. So anyway. So uh, yeah, and then uh, so that was uh, number three, right? Yep. Okay, and number two. The uh, second the greatest one is just when fire alarms are in the building, when you, like, touch them or something. Like the fire alarm itself, not the pull station. Like yeah. the notification device. Yeah. When you touch it, it will mess up the whole system. And it'll like, activate it. It's not doing anything. There's no current going through here. There's nothing. Yeah. Uh, Only time current goes through the alarm is when there's an alarm condition or... For those who don't know what that means, when you pull the fire alarm and the fire alarms are sounding, that's the only time it gets power. So, a lot of people think if you touch them, it will, um, it will activate, but that, that's just not true. I mean, I don't know why, if, even if that was true, I don't know why they would make it like that. Yeah, but, so, but, but we aren't saying just go into a building and touch the fire alarm. Yeah, you can get in trouble because think, people think you're tampering with it, and yes, you can tamper with them. So don't, I mean, we're saying don't touch it, but still, you can't, like, even if you, like, accidentally hit it or something, it's not, it's not going to cause anything. Yeah. So, and then, number one, I'll let you say it, though. Yeah, it's this is it's the, the most common thing ever. 
Um, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of movies think, well, you can take it away from here. Yeah, well, I get get asked this question all the time. Same. My but I think this uh, this rumor first started with that book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah. But when you pull the fire alarm, ink shoots on your hand. That is not true at no. all. No. Fire alarm systems are way too simple to do that. And plus, it would cause high maintenance. Now, I even saw the show there was a BG-6. Well, for those of you who don't know what that is, it was a very old fire alarm, and some kid pulled it, and ink shot all over them. I'm like, that is way too old for it to do that. And a lot of people think, I've even seen it with these, when you pull this, there's a little spigot like that. They think that's a spigot, and it'll shoot at you. But all a fire alarm pull station is, or, for those who don't know, the thing that you pull when there's a fire, all it is is a fancy light switch. See? All this is is a switch with a metal lever. That's all it is. There's no ink. There's no nothing. There probably will never be ink. And I think a c couple of uh, fire safety people just said that so you'd be scared of it. But, I mean, that, I mean seriously, that's ridiculous. Why would it do that? And that's that's just stupid. So that that can't happen at all. Yeah, and if the pull station isn't a switch, it's a button, like I just. Yeah, said. or it's, or it's a button. So it's either a toggle switch or a button. Sometimes yeah. there's um. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> that's not that they don't make them like that. But it's either a switch or a button. So either one, and there's no spigot that shoots at you. But. So that was uh, episode three of SER two fifty chats. If you missed the previous video, we'll leave the link in our descriptions. Go check them out, and yeah. And we also have a playlist. So, you want us to talk about something? Go ahead and leave it in the comments, and we'll try to make a video about it. And we do these every Saturday, but the uh -huh. reason we have two of them up, or two of them that just got uploaded, is because um, well, we're trying to make it up because we haven't done it for a while, so. But it should be every Saturday, and if we can't do it on a Saturday, we'll try to do it the day before or something like that. So anyway, um, that was SCR 250 Chats number three, episode three, and um, I'm going to say you're on this time. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I never say that. This is probably the first time I've did. Yeah, but here's the thing. You said it wrong. It's thank you for watching. Thank you. Sorry. Let's pretend that never happened. Thank you for watching this video. Please look, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm now, I'm, I'm the new Grant. I'm out of here. Hey y'all, everybody. I'm the new Grant, just to let you guys know. Okay, so anyway, that um, thank you guys for watching again, and um, yeah. Nice day. Yeah, have a nice day, and see y'all later.